for today's video I'm going to show you how I got my hair this color and how I removed my previous hair color. Starting off, I used Color Zap and yes, I did wait a month before applying this. As you see, 12 a.m. I literally waited until the second I was able to. Now, I did follow the directions on the box to move the dye, but I do not leave it in as long as it tells me to. I just remove it when the color is gone and it usually only takes around 10 minutes versus 30 to 45 minutes that it says in the box. Then go ahead and go wash it out. When you're done washing it, go ahead and blow dry it and section it and get it ready for bleaching. When sectioning it, I make sure that I make it very easy for me to get to because I am doing this on my own and I want to do this very, very quick. I used 40 volume with this bleaching and I only left it in my hair for about 20 minutes versus an hour like most people wait and only put it on parts of your hair that have not been bleached before. Sadly, my camera ran out of room while I was dyeing my hair and I had to transfer the files while doing the rest of my hair, so I actually didn't get to film me doing my actual hair, but I do show you how I did my extensions. These are the extensions that I use, VP Fashion. I also have a code from them, so you can get some money off if you use that code. I also get my scissors from them, that's how I cut my hair extensions. I also got a ponytail extension piece, which I will show you guys in another video how to actually install that. Then for dye, I got it from Arctic Fox, Irish Green, New Moon, and Aquamarine. For the actual mixture, I use mostly Irish Green and New Moon. I put way too much Aquamarine in it, so I had to put a lot more New Moon in it, which is the yellow. As you can see, when I'm applying it to the extensions, I am laying down the color first on both sides, making sure I cover every single hair in the dye. Then I massage it through with my fingers, just because if you apply a little bit of dye and then massage it, you're not going to cover every single hair. Even though it seems like the foam will cover everything, it actually won't, and it'll make it very patchy. Then let it hang up on a towel overnight and let it dry. Cut your hair extensions, and then you should be good to style them, just to make sure if you need to cut any more of your hair. If you want to know how I cut my hair extensions, I do have a video on this on my channel already, and I also show you the cutting pattern that I always use for my hair. And then you are all done! Here's my hair in natural lighting, and then here's my hair in unnatural lighting. If you have any questions or need any tips, go ahead and comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. No.